Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome and thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. And if you're an OG that's been here for a minute, thank you so, so much for coming back. So I am here with part five of the Magnolia Shopping District build series and we finally moved to a new lot this is the 50 by 40 lot in magnolia promenade and it's originally called the roadstead the roadstead starts off as kind of like a single retail shop and i just really wasn't feeling the layout everything felt kind of sparse and I don't know, I feel like there was just a lot of unused space. Granted, in retail areas, you do want that extra space so people can move around, but I felt like there wasn't a whole lot going on, so here we are. And this particular part, I focus on creating a parking deck. Yes, you heard me right, a parking deck. And I know you might be thinking, why a parking deck? Who's driving in The Sims? Not me. Well, I'm not either, but realistically speaking, when you're creating like a retail district or really any sort of commercial lot, people are gonna need some place to leave their cars while they go about their business. So here we are. I also felt like, okay, so originally, truth time. Originally, I was going to put the parking deck on a different lot in Magnolia Promenade. It was going to be one of the lots off to the side. Um, and I think I was going to put it at what's originally called JF&S Clothier, something like that. But when I was in the map view and saw that it was 20 by 20, I said, uh, that's not going to work. So I eventually moved this parking deck over here to the 50 by 40 lot. And I don't know, I'm actually pretty glad I did. I start off creating this huge structure and I'm like, it's going to have all of these decks with all of these cars, which it does. However, I do a little bit of modification and a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I don't know, I just really, really like the idea of a parking deck. And I also really wanted to use this item from Get Famous. I think it's in the debug menu, I could be wrong, but it's just kind of like, like a toll booth that has like the arms on either side and I knew like I saw it in um, the very first video if I'm not mistaken of this series and I knew that I had to use it somewhere in Magnolia Promenade and it was just perfect but yeah I got pretty much the base structure of the parking deck so far it is going to be four decks high and um, although this isn't quote-unquote usable this I think it will be really good for gameplay and also just from an aesthetic point of view I think it looks really nice um, leave me a comment down below if you think so as well but yeah here I am um, the way I created those ramps I used the roof and the reason why I was able to use roofing inside is because this isn't a fully enclosed room and on the upper decks how I got the ramp to go up without it bringing in the wall portion of the roof is that I created a one space section of the roof and then I dragged out one of the eaves It's really really simple but if you notice on the upper decks there's like this extra wall space I am hiding the actual roof with the wall in that little space and then I just pull it out with the eaves and I really really love how it looks I am from a very highly populated metropolitan area i mean it's not as populated as like new york and la but it's pretty pretty populated and there's a lot of traffic and in the downtown area there is a lot of parking decks multi-level parking decks because space is limited shops are continually being built and people need places to put their car so this just i don't know i really really like it i really really like it I'm finally to the top area and I haven't quite decided if the top area is going to be uncovered parking or if I am going to throw a covered space over there. I don't know and I may need your help on that so definitely leave me a comment down below if I should make the top level of this parking deck covered so should I put like a floor 
above so the cars aren't in the sun or should I leave one floor uncovered so you can see the cars um, better from the map and also in gameplay? Let me know. That would definitely help me out a lot. But yeah, here I am just creating like a faux elevator and I'm using the door from Get Famous. It's the door that you will put like, um, like on a bank not a bank but like a safe where you will put like your pile of money and since we can't add more than one elevator on the lot in game naturally I felt like this was a really cool alternative and I never really used that door and I just thought it turned out really really well I really really like it um, now I'm just adding a little covered space above our elevator <laughs> on the top level and I'm just covering everything in this brick texture. It's really similar to the brick texture in, um, on the other lot that we've done. It's just in a darker color. And in that um, space off to the left, well, I'm kind of turning around, I apologize. But the space that kind of pokes out with all of the windows that go straight up and down, I wanted your Sims to be able to access that lot um, while well, those parts of the lot so I'm just adding in a bunch of stairwells and they're just stacked on top of each other you don't really need a whole lot of space but I do know in parking decks if you don't take the elevator there is the option to take stairs and they're usually just stacked up um, one level on top of each other um, but yeah I'm just deciding which door I'm using so you can access the different parking levels and I'm not sure if I go with a door but I think I go with an archway I no, I go with this door from the tiny living pack and I like it because you can close it just in case it's a little drafty um, but also it has the window so you can peek inside and I don't know that's just something that I'm used to seeing with parking decks and I'm fully enclosing the top level because I'm adding a staircase up there as well and I didn't want it to be awkward like if it's raining I wouldn't want you know the lower levels to get wet because the upper deck is exposed if that makes sense now I just went into the debug menu and I'm just pulling out some cars um, I would say the best way to do it we've had some lovely lovely people in the community that have created rooms with all of the cars so just search for debug cars or vehicles or whatever and something should pop up so you can access all of the cars that are in the debug menu and I made a um, pair of arrows just kind of dictating which area or which direction you will go in to access the parking deck and I did that by just using some floor tiles if you press command F on PC it might no on Mac it will probably be command F on PC it is control F and um, you will be able to access like a triangle portion of a floor tile instead of the full floor tile but yeah I'm just messing around with some of these flat lights from spa day just to kind of give off the illusion of parking spaces and it's at this point where I decided to make a change I felt like the parking deck was completely swallowing up this lot and since you know parking decks aren't necessary for use I felt like it would be such a waste of space if I didn't try to maximize this lot a little bit better so I decided to put some shops and I wanted to incorporate more of that ground level of the parking deck um, so the shops can have a little bit of depth to them so as you may notice that um, I'm about to take off parts um, from the dark parking deck <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so excited um, I'm taking off parts from the parking deck so the shops can have a bit more depth um, originally I left some space on the side of the lot that's facing the the lot that we've completed in the four previous installments of this build series as kind of like our shops area but I thought that was such a waste of space and I just wanted to build out more so I'm putting shops on three sides of this lot and then the fourth side will be open so cars can access the parking deck if that makes sense if I'm not making sense just watch like I don't know I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm not saying much um, but anyways I am just taking this time to kind of section out areas this is a rough um, kind of go at it 
I'm not sure if the spacing is that I'm allotted for shops will change or won't change, but I'm just getting a rough idea of the different shops that I want to put here. Like I said from the very beginning, I'm kind of freestyling it and it's kind of refreshing because I'm used to just meticulously planning everything out, but then when I do that, I get overwhelmed and I get so wrapped up in the details. So this is just kind of like a free form build series and I'm enjoying it. It really takes the pressure off and I can just let my creativity flow. But yeah, I'm just still playing around with shapes putting some random boxes on here and seeing what really sticks and I'm adding in a little bit of a foundation. I just wanted the shops over here to feel a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I guess a little bit more boutique-y. I know with a lot of boutique shops they have like um, just a small little staircase to enter them um, because they're all connected because they all they all are smaller so they they're usually like shared spaces or like a shared building just kind of divided up by the different shops and I feel like the stairs just give each little shop a little piece of its own entryway and it feels like you're getting a brand new experience but anyway I am back to the parking deck and I'm just creating these one by one tile walls just to look like big columns I definitely want it to look like this place was supported and wasn't going to come crashing down on the sim shopping because that would be tragic right <laughs> and I am taking some more gable roof pieces and I'm just putting a little bit of a ramp here so you know ideally your sims would be able to drive up and then um, pay at the toll booth or get their ticket and pay when they leave but they need some way to drive up I mean most cars don't hop over a foundation so yeah creating a little bit of a ramp here but yeah here I am I'm just I'm doing just some really meticulous work and this front area of the parking deck goes through the transformation. I've had so many ideas, I've tried so many things just to make this place look a bit more pronounced. Like I wanted to add flowers at one point, I wanted to put statues at one point. I just wanted this area to, I don't know, be a bit more pronounced. Like I want it to be easily recognized. Um, and you know, if your Sims were to drive here, they will know instantly where the parking deck is. So that's why I just spent a bit of time on this area. And um, the crazy thing, or the annoying thing rather, every time I would adjust the wall on the bottom level of the parking deck, the roofs would disappear. So that was, that was a struggle. It's at this point where I was like, well, well, I know that I see a lot of like hanging signage on the side of a parking deck, but nothing really screamed parking deck. Like we've had signs with like hot noodles and jazz and flowers and nothing really screamed parking deck. So I just, I was playing around with these items for quite some time. I was trying to make my own signage and then I went into the debug menu and was, you know, just perusing around and found like this gate from cats and dogs and like this random piece. This piece here, the last piece that I brought out and you'll see once I kind of get rid of pretty much everything else. This kind of um, inspired me, or this really inspired me to um, move in a direction to where there will be like this big awning on the um, entrance of the parking deck. So I'm not quite sure what pack that little piece is from. And if you can see, it's on the top level behind the trucks. But um, it really inspired me to experiment with some things. And although I don't go with something like that, like see, I I've created it, but then I didn't really like it. Like it felt weird but it definitely inspired me to kind of build out over where those ramps are and just give them more covered area that way I have the freedom to add some signage or you know put some branding there or whatever so that kind of inspired me but eventually I changed it to um to what I'm about to do now. So these pieces right here came with the Get Famous pack and it's called Arched 
way. Um, so it's the word arch-ed way. And I used these before in my, um, in one of my retreat builds in Selva Dorada. So I really, really like how these arches look and I keep with this style and I just try my best to blend it in with the existing walls and to minimize as much glitching as possible. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. If you made it this far in the video, I just would like to say thank you so, so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video it helps me and the channel out more than you know if you're interested in seeing more sims pictures or things about my personal life feel free to follow me on my social medias which i'll always link down in the description box below and um this isn't available quite yet i will announce when it will be available it'll probably be once all of the builds are done um but in the meanwhile check out anything else that i've created on the gallery my origin id is simply dash nisi again you guys thank you so so much for watching and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys